there's Lewis. Set. Away, Burrell got a great start. Lewis last out. Away very fast. Mitchell, I don't think Carl can win. Stewart in front. Lewis flying. Lewis is flying. He'll get up. He's broken the world record. It's the greatest sprinting performance you'll ever see. The king has come from nowhere. I changed my diet at 30 years old. And I had all of my personal bests after 30 years old with a new vegan and vegetarian diet. And most people think that's unbelievable. But the reality is that um, we, we know that people can um, compete and have success without a heavy-based meat and high-protein diet. You can do it with other uh, proteins, which are in all types of meats, vegetable, vegetables, rather, legumes, uh, starches. You can do it like that. So for someone to have had their personal best at 30, when I was really not on a meat diet, just tells everyone you can do that. When I made the step to vegan, I actually went from a meat eating diet all the way to a vegan diet immediately. And the way I did it, I met a doctor that talked about the vegan diet. And the way I did it is I ate uh, a big meat meal. Matter of fact, I remember the day I was in Spain on, on tour and I ate these big Spanish sausages and they were amazing. And on a Sunday, I flew home Sunday and on Monday I was a vegan. So my biggest issue in changing was not um, what I was missing, but, but the amount of food that I ate. I, I had to adjust to calorie intake. So before I realized I would, I would eat dinner every day, I'd eat lunch three days a week or four days a week, and I'd eat breakfast never. So now I could eat three meals a day, I could snack, and, and it really enhanced that part. But what's funny is that people say, I can't eat without meat. Well, the reality is that it's, it's one thing on your plate. Your plate is full of everything else. So we, we developed a diet that didn't just go to what, what I guess a lot of people would think were vegan foods. We actually adapted things to fit what I normally had. Um, we would have lasagna, but we would replace um, spinach instead of the meat. Of course, we would use soy cheese and that type of thing. And then we, we would have, I would have spaghetti. You know, we would have vegetarian pasta and with meat sauce. Oops, I'm sorry, that was lentil sauce. So we would adjust it and people would come over and they wouldn't even know the difference. They would, and, and some of them who were meat eaters would say, wow, I like the vegetarian meal better because they feel better and it still gives them the same flavor. So the reality is that when you're eating meat, you're just eating dead flesh anyway and you have to season that. So why can't you season other things to get the same flavor?